Why, man, he doth bestride the narrow world like a colossus. And we, petty men, walk under his huge legs and peep about to find ourselves dishonorable graves. Men at sometimes are masters of their fates. The fault there, Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves that we are underlings. Brutus and Caesar, what should be in that Caesar? Why should that name be sounded more than yours? Write them together, yours is as fair a name. Sound them, it doth become the mouth as well. Weigh them, it is as heavy. Conjure with them. Brutus will start a spirit as soon as Caesar. Now in the name of all the gods at once! Upon what meat that this our Caesar feed that he has grown so great? O oh, age, thou art shamed. Rome, thou hast lost the breeds of noble bloods. When went there by an age since the great flood, but it was famed with more than one man? When could they say till now that talked of Rome that her wide walls encompassed but one man? Now is it Rome indeed, and room enough where there is in it but one only man? Oh, you and I have heard our fathers say there was a Brutus once that would have booked the eternal devil to keep his state in Rome as easily as the king. That you do love me, I am nothing jealous. What you would work me to, I have some in. How I have thought of this and of these times, I shall recount hereafter. But for this present, I would not so with love, I might entreat you be any further moved. What you have said, I will consider. What you have to say, I will with patience hear, and find the time both meet to hear and answer such high things. Till then, my noble friend, chew upon this. Brutus had rather be a villager than to repute himself a son of Rome under these hard conditions as this time is like to lay upon us. I am glad that my weak words have stuck but this much show of fire from Brutus.